borrowing anemones are different because the thread is not three-folded, but pleated longitudinally. Ooh. Okay, so this is a predatory sponge. Um, this is the first cladorizid we're seeing for the expedition. Sorry to cut you off. Go ahead, video. But this is, I think it's chondrocladius. Shirley, are you on the line still? You were earlier, oh, cool. and I know you were very interested in these. We should, we should definitely try to collect this if we can. Yeah, so then. there are very few records, um, only two species of Bridge, this is already oh, now. Sorry, of cladorizid, predatory sponges, have been recorded from the Gulf of Mexico. Go ahead. And Go ahead those yeah, we uh, spotted a yeah. Yeah. potential yeah. sample here, so, so we're going to have you bring the ship to an easy stop, please. Um, we'll use so easy stop, up, and we'll come back Thanks. out. Thanks. Shirley is around. Um, I would highly recommend that this Video, be something that in. we collect. Scientists on shore, how would you yeah, feel about that? Let's start up on the top or bottom top and then, work the other uh, way. Okay, I'm going up to the top. We'll this is John Reed. I agree. Um, when we had our cruise in 2011, we actually collected this species as as just west of here. Bottle, and uh, it is this um, carnivorous sponge, a very unusual okay. sponge. Go ahead. It's very neat. Go ahead. And so these carnivorous sponges are actually demo sponges, they are not glass sponges. Um, which are hexactinellids, and they are just some of the weirdest animals which we get in the deep ocean. And are we now, Bridge? I mean, uh, if we you're looking at the chat room right now, there are Thanks, resounding Bridge. yeses. Oh my God, collect that! Yes, we need to collect Ship that. Yes, stopped. now immediately. And there's, as we can see, some polynoids and other animals living amongst it. So, pilots, if we you are in a position it. to collect, we would absolutely love to collect we this will. beautiful animal. I'm, I'm guessing we'll want to just try to grab the whole thing and. It seems very doable yes, size wise. Okay. And as an interesting little backstory to these uh, kinds of sponges, uh, one of the earliest deep sea photograph, photographic expeditions in uh, the Southern Ocean took a very um, a grainy photograph of one of these with very few of the side branches sticking out regularly, maybe half a dozen along the entire stalk. And it was initially thought that, A, this is clearly a Soviet listening device, <laughs> or B, it's an alien antenna. And it wasn't until somebody figured out, no, this, these guys were collected elsewhere, and uh, they just didn't, we d never saw them alive. We didn't know what they looked like. Hydraulics? Hydraulics are up. So Dan Wagner saying that um, it looks like Chondrocladia verticillata. Craft coming on. Roger that. Craft is on. And um, in this genus of sponges, there are 33 named species okay, currently and many unknown collected um, but not described to science yet. Um, and as I said before, they are um, some of the, the strangest and most enigmatic animals in the deep sea that you can get a variety of morphologies, some which look almost like a harp, um, some which look like the one we're looking at in front of us, and others which sort of look like um, a little sun attached to the top of a, a tiny stalk. And these sponges used hooked spicules to capture small crustaceans or other animals maybe going by in the water column or resting on it um, to take a little time out. Yeah, we've been calling these um, carnivorous because they do feed on uh, organisms that are large relative to the normal diet of sponges. Sponges normally feed risk. on particles that are the size of bacteria hmm? or smaller. Yeah, okay. They have uh, chambers inside them with uh, cells that bear a flagellum, a little whip, and the undulation of multitudes of those little whips generates a current through the sponge. As I said earlier, some of those currents can be, can filter an enormous volume of water over a period of time. And um, 
The chloride guys? They extract these very, very tiny particles from the water currents that are passing through their bodies. Well, yeah, if the sediment these is soft guys enough, will dig into it. attach, uh, will uh, collect larger prey, and then their cells will slowly surround them and digest them.